right? In this video, I'm going to uh, introduce you how to write a set of numbers in the form of interval form, alright? Or we can say that how to represent all this in the form of open, close, and half open intervals, okay? Uh, so, for example, uh, this one, this is a set of numbers, right? It's a set of numbers in the interval. So, we can rewrite this to be in the form of, uh, we can rewrite this in the form of uh, just uh, negative 2 and 4, uh, negative 2 and 4. If you see that, negative 2 and 4, this number is the x, the number is between negative 2 and 4. Or we sometimes we say the real number is between negative 2 and 4, but include the negative 2, right? Include. Include usually we use a square bracket here. Uh, a close bracket, we say close bracket, uh, close, and this one is not include the four, so we're using the open bracket. Uh, so this is another form of writing the, the uh, set. So we can say that x is the element, okay? Uh, x is the elements of the set of this number, but this is in interval form, okay? Uh, so for example, this one, you can rewrite this. I could introduce you so that you know that there is another way of writing this. So for example, this one, uh, x is the elements of uh, so you see that two of these is not included not include one not include ten so we usually write it's between one and ten but we put open bracket right open is to tell you that it's not include one and ten okay uh, not include one and ten and for this one you see there is two equal okay uh, from negative five up to five so we can write is x is the element of negative five up to five uh, Include close bracket, okay? Uh, close bracket. So negative five to five, and same thing also for this. X is the elements of uh, x is the elements of. You can write in this form or in this form. Is they have the same meaning. So this is just to introduce you another way of writing the set form in the form of interval form. So and this one, if it's element of negative one or two, between negative one or two and zero, zero, uh, include the zero. Close bracket, not include the negative one or two, open bracket. Okay, uh, very simple. So, okay, this is for this type of number. So, this is some numbers that consider the infinite. Okay, uh, so if you look at this, x less than 4, right? x less than 4 in the form of, okay, another thing that I want to introduce is for number 1, you want to write in the number line, right? A number line. You can draw in the form of number line for this. Very simple, you can just draw, uh, if I have negative 2, negative 2 and 4, uh, negative 2 and 4, so it represents in the form of number line, negative 2 and 4, so negative 2 consists of equal, so we just put a solid circle, right, solid circle, and this one, not include the 4, we put an empty circle, uh, so this is a number line to represent this set of numbers, okay, negative 2 up to 4. So, if there was an equal here, then we will shade this one also. Uh, so, if, if there are two empty, this, this one, uh, so means that uh, not include 1, not include 10, then these two will be an empty circle, right? Uh, so, I uh, hope you understand. So, let's look at this, okay? Uh, let's look at this. So, this one, if you write in the in number line, you know that there's only 4 unbounded, so 4, less than 4, less than 4, less or equal, means that include 4, and less the number, all the number, all the real numbers that less than 4. So means that from positive, from the negative up to the positive, a negative very big number here. So usually we will write in this form. Uh, so from negative infinity, we usually you, you will use open bracket for negative infinity because we don't know what's the number, right? Uh, so it's a negative very big number up to the largest one will be 4. Include the 4. Uh, this is the way we write. We see that the negative, if you observe that, the smaller number will be always on the left of the number. Left and right. Okay? Left. Uh, from the left to the right. From the left to the right. Okay? Uh, for this, for number 6, uh, you should know that I should include uh, if you see that, negative 6, uh, negative 6, what does it mean by <coughs> more than, right? More than, means that the number is greater than negative 6. Uh, include negative 6, greater than. Uh, so, means negative 6 is the smallest. Uh, smallest, we put on the left. Uh, smallest, 
So after that, all the number, negative 5, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, all is bigger. It's on the right. So, but we don't know. It's unbounded, okay? Uh, infinite. So it's up to infinity, positive infinity. Uh, open, for infinity, always open. And this one, we put a close bracket here. Uh, means that negative 6 and more, right? So for this, is also the same. So x, uh, so negative x less than. All the numbers means that the number, all the number is less than negative 3 or 4. Uh, so negative 3 or 4 will be bigger. Bigger is on the right. Right? Uh, yeah, lebih besar dekat kanan. Okay? Yeah, all the number beside that is on the left. It's negative infinity. Right? Negative infinity. Because less than negative 3 or 4, it will be up to negative infinity. So open. This one also open because not include the negative. 3 or 4 right uh, so okay and if you want to represent in number line number line it will be negative 3 or 4 uh, open bracket right you see the, the arrow pointing to the left hmm. that means that from a very negative number or the small number up to the largest number here negative 3 or 4 right uh, so negative infinity because the arrow pointing to the left very simple. Okay? Uh, so, this one you see? This one. X more than 11. X more than 11. Open bracket. Uh, you see the arrow pointing to the right. Right? Pointing to the right. So, it means that uh, it will be going to the larger value. Positive infinity. Right? Never end. Positive infinity. And 11 will be the smallest one. Okay? Small number, bigger number. So this is the way we represent uh, in the form of uh, open bracket, open, and half open interval. All right. Uh, so if you look at this, it's the same. Okay, it's the same. They are equivalent form. Just the way of writing it will be different. Okay, that's all for this. And later on, we're going to using this uh, this type of form either in in this set form. Uh, in the set notation or in the interval form uh, to solving problem involving union and intersection of uh, sets of numbers. Alright, that's all for this video.